What up, idea, and welcome to Premier Lawns video. Today, I'm going to give you my top three tips on July's lawn care with a bonus tip. We're going to be covering how to edge your lawn. We're going to be covering how to deal with the ugly weed grasses that are in your lawn. And lastly, I'm going to show you a really easy way to fertilize your lawn. So stick around. Welcome back. Now for our bonus tip, I'm going to show you something that I hadn't planned to talk about today. So we'll have some mushrooms and we have some mushrooms in the lawn. I get a lot of questions about mushrooms and it's all I'm really going to say is that to do, they don't do any harm to your lawn. If they're really bothering you, just pick them, just pick them out with your hands before you cut the grass. All right, guys, if you're enjoying my July lawn care tips, make sure that you smash that like button, subscribe for more videos like this. I post regular lawn care tips and tricks and bringing your lawn to the next level. Now, let's get on with the video. So today we're going to be doing this edge here. Now, a good edge will really set off the garden. You can see this sleeper here. It's, it's, just, it's actually just breaking away now. This edge was put in, these, I put these sleepers in about 30 years ago and they are just disintegrating so there's only so much we can do but I believe that a really nice edge sets off a lawn so if you don't have a nice edge then it's going to really take away from the rest of the lawn. talked about this quite a bit in the past and I've covered in other videos. We killed this lawn off last year and we redid it because it was covered in weed grasses. Now you can't keep the weed grasses out but if you want to keep your lawn in best order there's a process called verde cutting. So verde cutting is very similar to scarfan only we don't want to go as deep. So some of our grasses especially the weed grasses they grow out instead of up. So whenever we verde cut we're, we're cutting those lateral stems and encouraging the grass to grow upwards and whenever that happens we get a far better cut on the grass so that's what I'm going to talk about today now you don't need any fancy tools to do this you can do it with just a spring back rake if you want obviously a smaller lawn this is going to be more practical all right so to show you what this is we have our knife here and we're going to I'm going to cut into some of the you know, this is the weed I'm looking at the, the weed grass that I'm looking at is called annual meadow grass or poana or if you're just in the States, poa. If you're in America, just poa. Grows out the way, and it, it's always a lot paler than other grass, and it stands out like a sore thumb. You can hand weed it out, but it's going to constantly grow and annoy you. So as you can see there, I'm lifting that grass up, and you can see how much is there. Whenever it grows out the way, then it gets very thick and ugly. You actually see how much grass is there. And as you get further down into the base, you can see it turns yellow and it's very, very ugly and not very pretty at all. So whenever we're verde cutting, we're putting lines across it and that's going to cut into it and cut those stems off. So guys, I can't stress this enough. Whenever you're verde cutting, it's not scarfan. You're not looking to take out a lot of thatch. You're just looking to take out that lateral growth, the, 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 the plants that are growing that way instead of growing that way. So that's all we're looking to do. We're just looking to tickle the surface now. Now, before we start doing the verde cutting, I'm going to give the grass a cut because we want, we want the grass sort of at a normal length. And then whenever we run the verde cut over it, we just want to tickle it. So let's get the grass cut now.
we have all this blown up into two piles, so just to show you a selection of what came out of this. So we have this stuff here, which is very thick and crappy. And then this is the material we took whenever we cut the grass. So you can see that's lovely fine grass. And then whenever we do the verde cutting, we're looking to remove all the crap and the dead growth and the, all that lateral growth. And then after we get all this lifted, we're going to run over the lawn again, and that's going to lift the rest of any of the debris that's left on the lawn and leave a really nice, tidy cut. So just to show you guys, there's the stuff out of the second cut. You can see there's a lot of crap through it. Now let's have a look and see what, so there's the stuff we've already cut out. There's the stuff we've already cut out. And there's our first cut. So you can see a lot of difference between that, between that, and then our second cut is this stuff here. So this is actually a mix of what's in the wheelbarrow. This is a mix of grass and then a mix of the crap. So this is what we're trying to pull out with the verde cutting. Our third tip for July lawn care is compost tea. This is a DIY method to make your own fertilizer for the lawn. I'm going to show you how we put all this together. Now, just to let you know, this product was sent out to me from Symbio. I've sorted you guys out with a 10% discount if you want to buy it. Now, if you do buy it, I receive a small commission and it helps make videos like this possible. But look, we're going to go and put it all together, sir, and I'll see you, I'll see you for the next bit. So this is the, the bucket that it comes with now. It, I'm told that it's all together, so we'll have a water pump or an air pump with some liquid seaweed. And then we'll have a box. And that, that must be our compost. And then life in your soil activating. Nutrients for the compost tea, so then we also have the air stone, so and a couple of bits and bobs. So, so there you go, we're gonna get this all together. So let's get on with that now. We got it together and we, we got it together and we found that this was leaking air, so we just got a couple of cable ties. I don't know if there was cable ties in in the bucket, but we put a couple on there anyway. So I'm just gonna to apologize now for there might be a bit of road noise. We've sort of come to a busy time of day. So we've let this go for about half an hour. It's doing its thing. Now we're gonna add in the few bits and bobs, so we'll have the activating agents and we'll have the compost, so... All right, so we've had this brewing for the last 24 hours. We'll have some CMS shit in it. We'll have some seaweed in it. Now, you're probably wondering the benefits behind this. So number one, you're gonna increase all the bacteria in the soil. You're gonna increase the root mass of your lawn. You're gonna decrease that. You're gonna make your lawn more disease resistant. Loads, of, there's lots of benefits. You're gonna even encourage a lot of the finer grasses to come through. So. 
probably the easiest way to apply this is through an attack sprayer. You can also use a watering can or a rose. You can put it onto your plants as well, really good for your plants. Now one application, if you do one application, you're probably not going to see that much benefit from it. I'll be using it as part of my lawn care program now. I'll be putting it on once a week for the next few weeks. And then after that, I'm going to drop down to probably once a month, something like that. I'm going to play a bit with it and see how it goes. It is a really good tool to, to use. There is a lot of different products you can put in. What I would definitely say, guys, is don't be putting iron into this or don't be putting iron into the mix because what you're really trying to do is create a lot of really good bacteria. And whenever you create the bacteria, if you put the iron in, it's going to kill all that. So we don't want that. So look, let's go along with that now. 